Welcome to the Addis Platform Channel. This is a professional tool for analyzing and predicting the stock, futures, and crypto markets. In this video we'll discuss how to apply such a useful and informative indicator as the Dynamic Levels Channel. And what's more important, how to use it on non-standard charts. Keep watching to find out about what the Dynamic Levels Channel indicator shows. The main trading signals of the indicator. A few examples from real charts. Open the chart, add the indicator, see a red channel with a blue line in the middle. What does it all mean? The readings of the Dynamic Levels Channel indicator are based on the market profile, namely on its main derivatives. The Maximum Volume Level Point of Control POC. Value Area Levels VAL and VAH. You can read more about the market profile in our blog, links are in the description. If the standard market profile builds profiles at fixed equal intervals, the dynamic levels channel builds, so to speak, a floating or sliding profile based on the period specified in the settings. A link to instructions for setting up the dynamic levels channel indicator is also in the description. A blue line shows the change in the level of the max volume for the number of candles that is set by the value of the period parameter. Two red lines show the change in the upper and lower boundaries of the value area for the same period. What trading signals does the Dynamic Levels Channel Indicator give? We don't claim to cover all trading techniques used with the market profile. In this video, we will present two approaches. The first one is a breakout. In this case, the price breaks out of the value area on increasing volume, which indicates that the balance of supply and demand is broken. The second one is a bounce. The signal comes when a new balance is regained after the POC level is changed. Let's have a look at some examples. This is a breakout cell when the price falls below the lower boundary of the value area on increasing volume. By the way, the arrows show potential breakout trading setups. This is a bounce cell when the price rises at the upper boundary of the value area after there has been a decrease in the ROS level. Which approach to use? One of these two or some other? It's up to you. What resonates with you in terms of temperament and risk tolerance? But in any case, there is a high probability that you will come across an inconvenient feature of using the dynamic levels channel during the day. It is caused by the fact that volumes are unevenly distributed during trading sessions. Therefore, it may seem that at one time it's necessary for the indicator to increase and at other times to decrease the period. There is a more elegant way, non-standard chart types of the ADAS platform. For example, volume, delta, ranges charts and others. They don't depend on time. When trading is more active, new candles appear more often on non-standard charts. When trading activity is low, new candles appear less frequently on the charts. Therefore, the dynamic levels channel indicator acts differently. Better, in our opinion. Let's have a look at some examples. But before we do that, We'd like to draw your attention to the fact that the Addis Trading and Analytical Platform can be downloaded for free. All indicators and chart types that you see in this video will be available to you when you download and install the platform. All the details are on our website Addis.net. Let's have a look at a futures chart for the NASDAQ Stock Index. This is a volume chart, so the volume bars are almost the same height. Each new candle appears when a given amount of volume is traded in the market. The delta indicator and the dynamic levels channel with a period of 150 have also been added to the chart. Scale equals 5. The chart shows the events of August 10, when the consumer price index was released. It should have been a highly volatile day because the Federal Reserve System, the Department of the Treasury, big hedge funds, and others were all paying attention to the amount of inflation. Then the candle closed above the upper boundary of the value area, therefore, it was a signal to open a long position. That long position, opened at a breakout, turned out to be extremely profitable. Because the news announced that inflation fell down and market participants saw this as a positive signal. The stock index rose strongly. The level of the maximum volume rose too. 
It is displayed on the chart with a blue line. The balance of supply and demand seriously changed in the market, so it was rational to open a long position on a bounce in case the price dropped to the lower boundary of the new value area. Pay attention to spikes in positive delta which indicate a local predominance of enterprising buyers. These spikes can be used as a confirmation to enter a long position and as a guide to reduce risk by setting protective stop losses. These are Euro futures, the set of indicators is the same. The chart shows a period when the market was bullish and the euro was trading above the channel drawn by the DLC indicator. When the bottom line of the channel was touched, it gave a signal to buy on a bounce, but then something changed. Pay attention to the delta. We see a big spike in a positive delta and then a sharp spike in negative. This change led to the speculation that market sentiment was changing and buys were losing priority as bears became more active. The next day, a sell signal was formed for a bearish breakout of the lower channel line. Pay attention to spikes in delta to judge the real mood of market participants and take it into account when making your trading decisions. The last example is the BNB USDT futures from the Binance Exchange. This is a reversal chart with volume indicators and the dynamic levels channel. What story does the chart tell us? and how can we use it? A blue line of the maximum volume level is gradually decreasing, which indicates that the market is dominated by bearish sentiment. Therefore, every time the price approaches the upper boundary of the value area, there are preconditions for bounce trading, or in other words, an entry into a short position with the expectation of a bearish reversal. At the same time, you can switch to cluster charts and or lower periods in order to confirm signals, find entry points more accurately and by that reduce risks. Sooner or later, the bearish trend ends. And in this case, volumes and price reaction were early signals of a change in market sentiment. Pay attention to this big spike, it looks like a big trader entered the market and started buying up a falling asset. As a response to these actions, the price began to rise. A similar pattern repeated a bit later. There was a spike in volumes and the price slowed down the fall again. Moreover, it showed positive dynamics. Having noticed these price volume interactions on a chart, you might conclude that a big trader is accumulating a position in a given range. Keeping this in mind, you should give priority to going long. The dynamic levels channel indicator will help you get a signal to enter a long position. In the first case, this is a breakout buy at the upper boundary of the value area. In the subsequent cases, bounce buys from the lower boundary of the value area. We hope this video was helpful for you. Download the Addis platform, check out its cool features for free. Hit the like button, leave questions and suggestions in the comments. See you in the next videos.